Greetings to you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today we are reading Numbers chapter 17. As we read and meditate this chapter, may the Lord speak to each one of our hearts and minds. This chapter deals about the budding of Aaron's rod. For as here we see from verse 1 to 5, Lord speaks to Moses and to say to the children of Israel to get a rod from each tribe of their house and to write their names on the rod. And from the Levi tribe, he has to write the name of Aaron's name. And once Lord meets the, in the tabernacle with Moses, he will shew forth that the rod which blossoms will be the man of whom the Lord elects. And by this, the complaints of the children of Israel will be resolved. From verse 6 to 7, we see that Moses speaks to the children of Israel what Lord commanded him. And they brought the rods, twelve rods from each tribe and places them in the tabernacle of witness. In these verses we see, next day Moses went into the tabernacle and sees the Aaron's rod sprouted and blossoms and riped, uh, uh, yielded ripe almonds. And he brought forth all the rods and he exhibits to the children of Israel that the Aaron's rod sprouted. And all the, the complaints that are made to Moses and Aaron before the Lord have stopped. And children of Israel were scared the judgment of the Lord by seeing the Aaron's rod uh, sprouted. The Aaron's rod which blossom pictures the resurrected Christ as the priest of God's choosing. Just as the almond tree is the first to blossom in the spring, so Christ is the first fruits of resurrection. The golden lampstand in the holy place was made like almond blossoms, each with the ornamental knob and flower. It was priestly function to take care of the lampstand daily. Aaron's rod corresponded in design and fruit to the lampstand thus signifying that the household of Aaron had been divinely chosen to minister as priests. And also Aaron's rod was kept in the Ark of Covenant as a token sign against the rebels. After this, people were seized with terror and fear to go into the tabernacle. The burning of Aaron's rod made clear who would stand between God and the people of Israel. Similarly, Jesus Christ is now the mediator between God and sinful people like us. All who depend on Christ's anointing work on their behalf have direct access to God. Christ has become our high priest, a permanent advocate, fully worthy to intercede for our sin and rebellion actions. We recognize Christ as our advocate whenever we enter to God's presence and we can follow his pattern and mediate even uh, whenever our families, communities or workplaces need a reason and a compassionate thought party to help adversity each here to each other. We can go between and help people reconcile. Dear be Lord, as the Lord is speaking to this chapter, let's examine our hearts and let us not rebel against God and His people. And also we need to obey the leadership which God has provided in our churches. May the Lord bless the short meditation in the edification of our spiritual lives and continue to speak in the remaining chapters of this book and numbers. Amen.